friends and welcome to another episode of Behind the Screen. Today we are doing something a little bit different than we normally are. I'm winging it. I actually did not have time to prepare for today's segment so we're just going to talk about D&D because it consumes my life. If I am not at work planning my move or yeah, just those two things. Oh wait, no, I think about D&D all the time. Um, literally, I can't stop to the point that Eric has decided to sort of call me out and be like, stop thinking, working, doing D&D. He even said he was a little jealous and he's like, you get to play an extra day that I don't get to play. That's not fair. So, um, D&D consuming your life. How, do, <laughs> how does that affect your relationships? Um, actually, no, what I do want to talk about today is um, turning up role-playing up to 11. Um, so recently I told you that one of the characters in my homebrew campaign died. Thankfully she was resurrected. Um, but since then it's added an interesting level of role-playing that um, I think it has brought something else to the game. Um, it, it feels significantly more real. Um, and in the game that I'm actually playing in, where I get to play, hi guys, uh, our amazing DM Greg has been building this world where we have been searching for answers to questions and all we've found are more questions. Um, but through that process, each of the characters in the campaign are becoming more and more attached to one another. Similar to my campaign, where as the characters are going through things, they're becoming more and more attached to each other. And I'm seeing this bond start to form, especially with players who play uh, frequently together. So in the campaign I'm playing in, we play once a week on Sundays. Um, Sunday Squad represent. Um, but for the game that I uh, is my homebrew, we only play about every six weeks or so. However, the sessions are really long. They're really drawn out. We usually play somewhere between nine and 12 hours when we play. So it is a much more significant and longer session than you would otherwise have. And I think these repetition or these extended lengths of time add to character development and character building that you wouldn't get otherwise. Now, I will openly admit that I was a terrible player when I started in Greg's game. Um, I had not written a backstory. I had basically built a character and said, hey, let's give, take this for a whirl. Um, that's doing him a disservice and I knew that I was not being a good player. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm not usually a very good player. I am much better and enjoy DMing more. But as this game has progressed, I've actually found that I really love this character and I really love this game and I am so excited every Sunday knowing that I get to play. Um, this past week I was DMing another game on Sunday for um, a bunch of new friends. Uh, who have never played D&D before, who are, I'm running um, the uh, Fandelver pre-made campaign, and they were having a great time. I felt bad because I was missing my other game to be able to DM for them. So that's when you know you have too much D&D in your life. You're missing D&D to play D&D. Um, but the point of all of that being is I now feel so connected that as soon as I was able to get online with them, I was immediately accosted with people saying, oh my god, Marta, your character did this, and you did blah blah blah, and 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 this is what's going on right now, we're so glad you're here. Like, everyone was excited to have me and my character, which is very sweet, because that means they like me, they really like me. Um, but everyone was excited to have my character there, and one of the other players um, actually was Jaegering. He was driving my character for the campaign, because they knew I was going to be able to hop in eventually or for the session, excuse me, no, sorry. They knew that I was gonna be able to hop in to the session eventually. That's what I'm trying to say. So um, they were playing my character, they were very excited to have me back, and I immediately, the first thing that people were saying is what was happening between the characters' relationships. How were things progressing? And then they filled me in that they were in the woods and that they had done this and that they had found this temple and that here we were traipsing through the forest with Kai leading the way and we were gonna go find this apparently we found a giant spider creature the mother i don't know it was a thing um the point being is that we're now starting to become extremely invested in our individual characters um and the relationships that our characters have with each other um we talk about it online we're talking about the story we're talking about what our characters like to do and in my homebrew campaign the exact same thing is happening so with celadrill dying 
in the last game, we had a separate RP session just for Eric, for Eric's character, Norvar, and Emily's character, Celadriel, to be able to talk through those issues. Um, it was a two an hour, a two and a half hour role playing session. That's all they did. I actually had them roll dice a couple times for insight checks and other things, but there was no combat. It was just the two of them sitting in a room having a conversation that I moderated, and I fangirled out over it. It was amazing. Um, however, the point being that since that conversation happened, I've gotten no less than three text messages a day uh, about character backstory and character building and character motivation and why are our characters doing these things. And it's really, I, I would say that it's anom an anomaly except for the fact that I'm doing the exact same thing in the campaign that I'm in right now. And I don't know if it's art imitating life or there's some sort of weird parallel going on, but it's really really cool. I hope that everybody has a chance to experience something like this because you feel bigger than yourself and you feel like you're actually a part of the story that's happening. Um, it also has led to a very interesting conundrum slash event uh, that will be happening at Gen Con this year. Um, there will be a showdown between my character and my friend's character Kai. Uh, it'll be Kai and Marta versus uh, Celadrill and Norovar. Literally, we're having a D&D couples battle, like battle royale style. We're gonna see who kills each other first, which has led to an even cooler concept that we are gonna have an actual battle royale um, for players at Gen Con. Um, not quite sure all the details yet, but we want to put together just a open battle royale situation where 10 people walk into an arena, one person walks out, and everyone has a character, we use a point by system, and we just fight it out until somebody, one person is left. It sounds like a lot of fun, especially if you're a huge D&D nerd, so we're gonna figure out how to make that happen while we're at Gen Con. Um, all right, so I think I have rambled enough. I think I actually had a theme today without realizing I had a theme, which is pretty much what Eric always says, is that, Emily, you can talk about Dungeons and Dragons till you're blue in the face or pink in the face. Um, but yes, so that is it today. Have you ever had a role playing uh, situation that you felt so intimately involved with? Or have you uh, DM'd a uh, game where the players wanted to role play that much or wanted to get to a point where they're having separate RP sessions and writing you long text messages at 11.30 at night talking about how they're gonna change their character, or flesh out their character's backstory. Um, it's a really amazing feeling, um, and I hope that everybody who loves D&D has a chance to in enjoy that at some point because it's really freaking awesome. Um, okay, so that's gonna be it for this week. Um, as always, please feel free to leave your questions and comments in the section labeled comments below. Um, I'm happy to answer questions if you guys have them or give me something to talk about. Add a, ha add a discussion topic down there and I would love to start a discussion with you, whether it's through comments or perhaps on the next video. Um, but until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, support us on Patreon if you are so inclined. Um, we have some new Patreon backers and it is awesome. Um, new characters being added to my D&D homebrew every day. Uh, and I think that's going to be it. So I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye guys.